just took a photo instead of starting the vlog. I'm a genius. I lied. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Good morning. It is Thursday the 7th. I am making coffee, two cups, because I had one cup of instant coffee as soon as I rolled out of bed this morning. I got up about 7 a.m. Today I'm going to be working on Rising to Worth, my novella, and I'm very excited. <laughs> It is now 20 minutes past 10 and I did the laundry. I have my coffee. <sighs> I love coffee. I just love it. So Rising to Worth is, I wrote it as a short story last June, I believe. I actually wrote it as a prompt that someone I follow on Instagram gave. So the prompt was write a superhero or supervillain story based off a song. And so I chose the song Punks Don't Dance by Crystalline. Crystalline? I don't know how to say the name, the band's name. I love, I love the band, I don't know how to say the name, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But yeah, it really inspired me and I thought it was going to be like a 2,000 word story. It turned into 10,000 words. A ten, well, nine and a half thousand word short story. I love the idea that came, it just flowed, it fit so well, it fit the song really well as well. It was kind of a dark interpretation. I went with, with super villain rather than superhero, but it basically just became about this assassin and she carries out a hit, but while she's carrying out the hit, she meets this guy who like rocks her world. Like she's just like attracted to him and he basically represents everything that she never thought she could have as an assassin. Yeah, so then she, she has to make a choice and it kind of got really dark and I love it. I love, I love darkness. I love writing about and exploring the darkness in people. I love choices. I love thinking about morals and gray areas and it was just really fun to play with. Anyway, so I keep, I've keep i been thinking about this story for a really long time now and I think over the summer, like a couple months after I wrote this, the short story, I decided I kind of want to turn this into a novella. Didn't do anything about it until a couple of weeks ago when I was like, you know what, I'm going to turn this into a novella. I want to publish it. I want to self-publish it. I want to get something out there with my name on it and this has the potential of a really good story. So... Yeah, that's what I'm working on today. I'm turning nine and a half thousand words into 25,000 words. I've done a little bit of work so far. I, for the moment, I figured it would be easier to split the story that I have into five parts, which I've done. And basically, I want to round up the word count of each part. At the moment, each part is roughly like one to 2,000 words. And the longest part, I think, is actually the first part, and that's 2,500 words. Yeah, um, I want to make each part roughly 5,000 words. I don't know if that will actually work in practice. I feel like five parts each 5,000 words is too neat. I feel like that's not gonna work in practice, but there's one way to find out. And it gives me a structure to follow, to really get into. It's given me a structure and it's helping me get started. So it's gonna work. I'm gonna get writing, I'm gonna put this on a time lapse and we'll see where we go. <sighs> so we went and got some tea because I have finished my third coffee and I am very, very sad that I will not be getting any more caffeine today. I'm just trying to think about where I wanna go next with this story. It's quite, it's interesting because I have 10,000 words. I have the plot. I'm simply expanding the plot. I'm simply fleshing it out. And 
I, I've written the very beginning. Actually, the, the way the, the short story starts, I did not like the beginning. It dives straight into the action. The first line is just, well, the first line is literally, bodies jostle into me. It's not a great first line. Bodies jostle into me. <laughs> jostle? <laughs> what am I, <laughs> what am I even saying with that? I don't know. Uh, and then the second line is, other people's sweat sours the air. Other people's sweat sours the air. It's not great. It does dive you into the action, but... I just... It's, it, it's, not, it's not quite right. It's not quite there. However, my new opening... There's another hairbrush on the windowsill. This one is pink bubblegum pink. I just, I love that. It just, it has so much character in it. It, it, you get the, the point of view characters, the main character's personality. She's describing me as hair, hairbrush. You kind of get that she doesn't approve of it and it's not hers. <laughs> There's another hairbrush on the windowsill and the, the second character, the character who the hairbrush belongs to, like comes and then, and you kind of get a bit of her personality from the colour of the hairbrush, the fact that she's left it around the house. And I just love that. I just think it's so much, it's a much better opening than bodies jostle into me, other people's sweat sours the air. They are two very different settings as well. Like I'm starting this story much further back than it, it was in the first version in the short story. The novella starts, it gives you a little bit of, it's okay, it is background information, but what I love about knowing the plot is that there are things that happen later on in the short story, which, because I don't plot, I did not know what was gonna happen later in the short story. I just, I started writing and what happened happened. But now that I know what happens, I have, the short story is basically like a really detailed plan and so I know what's going to happen and so I can put all of these little kind of clues and hints in the first part of the novella to things that's going to happen later, setting up things that's going to happen and I just love it. It's, it's a really good way of writing. I think I'm definitely going to try this technique again, like writing a short story and then expanding it because I feel like, I honestly feel like this novella I'm going to make one full draft, which I'm hoping will only take two or three weeks. I'm only working on it on Tuesdays and Thursdays because the rest of the week I'm working on my main project, my novel, which I want to query and publish traditionally, hopefully. Um, so this novella is sort of, it's my smaller project, but I also think it's gonna be faster to write, edit, and get it publication ready than my novel which is something like 85 ninety thousand words and i've been working on that for nearly nine nine months i think i'd say estimate about nine months now my novella okay i wrote it as a short story over the summer but if i'm only counting the time i put in now it took me i wrote i wrote the short story in three days the ten thousand words short story wrote in three days this novella, I'm estimating will take, okay, three weeks, I like that. A short story took three days, novella will take three weeks. I like that. Now that my tea is, I'm gonna take the tea bag out and do another kind of sprint, although my laundry is almost done and I'm gonna have to get up in probably two minutes. Anyway, writing sprint, let's get going. <laughs> Of course, just as I get into a flow, the timer rings and I have to go do the laundry. I've never been like on top of laundry before, but today I am determined 
as soon as that timer rings, I am going to do the laundry. And by staying on top of it, I'll get all of my laundry done and I won't have to do it again for a while. So I'm going to go and do that, but I just wanted to give a quick update because I really didn't get that much written. I wrote about, oh, oh, Scrivener doesn't tell me when I, when, if I highlight a section of the text, Scrivener doesn't tell me the word count of the highlighted section. I mean, it probably does. I probably just have to find the right, ooh, no, that that's, that's not telling me. Okay, I don't know how many words I've done, but you saw the highlighted paragraph. It's, well, there's several paragraphs. You saw the highlighted bit. There's not many words there. Um, I was writing for about 10 minutes, probably seven, five minutes? I think it was five minutes. I, I don't know, but that's fine. I'm gonna go get laundry and probably, I really wanna keep writing because I really haven't done as many words as I've wanted. Although I am almost, I am almost at the point where I can start typing up the beginning of the short story. I am gonna have basically, I don't think I explained this. Basically what I'm doing is most of the content in the short story is staying the same as it was, but I will be typing it up into the new document draft. I'll be typing it up rather than copy and pasting because I'm gonna be editing it as I do that and just, you know, making it sound better. And I just like doing it that way. And also because I wrote it in response to a prompt that was based on a song. I have to take out all of the references to the song that are currently in the short story and they they are splattered throughout. So I need to take those references out. Um, yeah, that's, that's why I'm typing it up so I can change what I need to, but the, the core content, the core what happens, the core story, the, the core plot stays exactly the same because I'm happy with the plot. I might be slightly adjusting it, but most of it's staying the same. Yeah, that's me. So now I'm gonna get the laundry. So I lied. I said I was gonna go do the laundry, but I couldn't help but keep writing. I just, I had to finish the scene. I was so inspired for it. I just, I think that what I wrote was really good. I mean, I'm gonna think it's really bad when I edit it, but. I feel like it was good, I was really inspired, I, I ran with the inspiration, and I have no regrets. I have reached the beginning of the short story. Now that I know what happened before the short story began, it's easier for me to place the scene. It's a really important scene. It's the scene where the main character, where she kills someone. Um, it's the short story began with her carrying out her hit, her assignment and the novella does not begin with that because I felt like diving straight into the action. I feel like if you know certain things early on, what happens later on hits much harder emotionally. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just really happy <laughs> with the way that this is turning out. Yeah, I'm just happy. Anyway, now that I've finished, I'm gonna go get some lunch. I'm gonna do my stretching now. I can't film that because, <laughs> I'm holding my keys. I can't film stretching because I need my phone for the interval timer so that I know like when to move on to the next stretch. Yeah, 
I'll film my push-ups after stretching and then I will make lunch. <sighs> so that's press-ups done. As you saw, I dropped to my knees for the last five reps and that's okay. So I'm gonna make some lunch. Now that is perfection in a pan. It might be burnt. I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna try not to juggle the camera while I flip it. This is gonna go really badly and I'm scared. Ah! Oh, it could have done with a bit more cooking. This is my lunch, my decaf coffee and my tea. And I just realized as I was making it that I am basically an unrecognized genius of my time because letting the tea brew while I'm drinking the decaf coffee, I will have an empty cup after I finish the decaf coffee and I can put the tea bag in the empty coffee cup so I don't have to get up and take out the tea bag and put it straight into the bin. I can just enjoy my tea without having to get up. I, I'm a genius. I've done most things on my to-do list. I have two books left to read. One of them's in German, so I don't know if that really counts as reading. It's more language skills, but yeah, I'm gonna do some reading and... Okay, there's two other things that I wanted to do today. One of them is read um, a short story that my aunt sent me because we're kind of exchanging work. I was going to do that on... <laughs> Tuesday and yesterday, but what I ended up doing was editing my first YouTube video, my New Year's resolutions video. Go watch it if you haven't. And I'm gonna do that first while I'm eating because I figure it'll be easier to eat and edit so, uh, a video than it will be to eat and like write feedback for my aunt. So I'll do that second. And then last of all, I will probably read my books. And then, after all of that, I'm reckoning by this time will be, it's like two now, I believe. I don't have no idea what time it is right now. It's probably like two, I think. It's probably about two. Um, I reckon it'll be six by the time I finish all of that. Billy will be home by then. And I might do some more writing or I might not. It really depends, because I wanna, I wanna take my evening and relax w with Billy, right? But I wanna write as well. I wanna do both. So yeah, I don't know if I'll get more writes again. We'll see. But now I'm gonna eat my lunch before it gets any colder than it already is. And yeah, it's now four. I f finished editing my video. It's in the process of uploading to YouTube, so I'm very excited about that. I did not drink my tea yet. I drank the coffee. I still have my tea left and it's getting cold, but the alarm for my laundry just went off. So I'm still trying to upload my resolutions video. It's, it's getting there. I'm having a few technical difficulties, but I'm figuring it out. I am doing it. It is happening. And if you're watching this, then it will have already been up for a few days probably, so. Yeah, it's a process. Learning how to film and edit and upload videos is a process. It's like writing. You, you don't show your first ever story that you write to anyone. You don't give anyone a first draft that you haven't edited at all. The processes are very similar. Like I filmed a video before my resolutions video. It was basically a writing vlog. I just wanted to film something, to check out some technical things, which I'm glad that I did. I edited that video a little bit. It was really bad. It was worse than this one, <laughs> which isn't saying much, but yeah. No, it's a learning process. I'm learning so, so much. And hopefully every video, every video I do will get better. <laughs> I don't think it could get much worse. <sighs> I'm ready. I'm doing it. It's happening if it ever uploads to YouTube. My video is uploading. Yeah. Anyway, I'm about to do my reading, the book that I'm reading and the 
German book that I am reading. <sighs> and my pencil, so that I can <laughs> make notes on the English translations. Yeah. It is now Wednesday, almost a week later, since I filmed this video. I forgot to wrap up the video <laughs> last Thursday, so I'm doing it now, one day before the video goes live. I just wanted to say a massive thank you if you stuck with me through this rambling mess of a vlog. Uh, I'm still kind of figuring out what I want to film, yeah, how I want to do this. I think I'm, uh, this video was basically an introduction to my novella project Rise Into Worth. I also have another project, uh, my novel Living In The Moment. I think I'm going to do two separate, two separate vlog series. Uh, Rise Into Worth is at the beginning, well, pretty much close to the beginning whereas living the moment is close to the end uh, so I think it'd be quite interesting to see my progress with both of those and yeah I think I am going to I think I am going to upload twice a week but that might not start for a couple weeks I'm still figuring out filming and editing technicalities uh, but yeah, thank you again so much if you stuck with me this long through the video, through all of my rambling, and let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want to see more of or less of, and yeah, I think that's about it. Stay tuned for bloopers. I just, I make a lot of bloopers when I film, so I just think they're pretty fun to watch, and yeah, see you in the next one. <laughs>